Now, you've heard me talk about how the construction zone on 131 between 10 mile and 14 mile has two lanes southbound in the morning and one lane northbound, and that's why you're getting a slowdown right now. But in the afternoon, it'll be two lanes going north. But there are only three lanes available in the construction zone. Well, let's take a look at how MDOT does that. There's a good chance you have never seen this machine ever before. And you've probably never seen what it does. It's called the Road Zipper, and it's designed to do one thing. What this machine does is it comes and it'll actually pick up the concrete barrier and move it over 12 feet to provide a lane. That's the concrete barrier that separates two directions of traffic in a construction zone. And right now, MDOT is using the Road Zipper on US 131 between 10 mile and 14 mile. But why move the barrier? Well, one side of the freeway is being torn up and rebuilt. On the side of the highway that isn't under construction, there's just enough room for three lanes. The Road Zipper solves two problems. First, for us drivers, when traffic is heaviest on one side of the freeway, there can be two lanes available on that side to keep traffic moving. Moving the barrier accomplishes that. We move it twice daily, one in the morning after the morning rush hour and one in the evening after the evening rush hour. On the weekend, we make sure that we are maintaining two lanes going northbound for the vacation travelers, and then we switch it on Sunday around noon for the people coming home going south, so there's two lanes going southbound. While there are three lanes of traffic at all times, there's only one lane available in each direction where the zipper machine is performing its magic. So it's likely that traffic will be slowed down while it's operating. Now, here's the second problem the Road Zipper solves, time. Having this movable barrier contraption shaves off a year of the project. So it's a big time saver, a big money saver. Once we determined and talked to our contractors that this was gonna be a two year project, we knew that we had to do something to expedite the project because the motorists and the commuters on 131 had to deal with road construction last year and they have to deal with road construction this year. So if we would have asked them to, to deal with it for another year, I think they would have been a little upset. Not only does the process require a specialized machine, the concrete wall itself is different. The pieces of the movable barrier are about three feet in length and our normal concrete barrier are about 20 feet in length. Besides the fact that each concrete piece is smaller, they're linked together. You see you've got a pin here that it would go inside this hinge here. And so all of these concrete pieces are linked together like a chain. Now it may be called a road zipper, but there's no zipping along. The crew has to make sure the barrier lines up perfectly so it can take several hours to complete the process to make sure it's safe for you to drive through the construction zone without the usual construction traffic jams.